I met him four nights ago and he was the most beautiful boy I had ever seen. His name was Emmanuel. I've been travelling by myself for three months. The great European adventure. London, Dublin, Paris, Prague, then Berlin. I've been saving for a year. Cafe work, bar work, babysitting. Mum and Dad said, don't go by yourself. It's too dangerous. Go on a tour or at least go with some girlfriends. I'll meet people, I told them. I'll be fine. I Skype home once a week and tell Mum and Dad what an amazing experience Europe is. They've never been and I tell them I'm having the best time because I can't bear the thought of them being disappointed for me. I keep wondering when it will start. Life. When will life start? And I think, wow, that guy can really dance. That guy is like fire. And he looks over at me, me, and I'm gone. I pretend not to be. I try to be cool to make it seem like I'm not interested. I am so interested. And I know he wants to take me back to his place and I say, okay, because at last I am living and I don't want life to stop. And when he kisses me, it makes me feel like I want to cry because I've never been kissed like that. And we make love so tenderly, so sweetly. And after, as I drift off to sleep, lying on his chest, listening to the beat of his heart, thinking, I could listen to this for the rest of my life. I think this is it. Is this what falling in love is? And when I wake up in the morning, he's gone. Along with 400 euros from my wallet, my iPad, my camera, my favourite scarf, and a large piece of my heart. I walk through the streets of Berlin. I feel so small. I feel like I'm 12 years old. I feel ridiculous. I want to cry, but I won't. Well, I do, but not as much as I want to. I want my dad. I want my mum. I want my brothers and my sister. I feel like I'm literally going to fall to pieces. And so to stop myself from coming apart, I make a list of all the things I know. And I know I have to go home.